Couple of littermate gilts here, 34-1 and 34-2. Pedigree, no turning back on Rusty Cage on Hold the Line's mom. Yep, uh, awesome pedigree here. We would have bought uh, Hold the Line was the board there at Lackey's uh, that uh, uh, would actually be the father of the Lighthouse board and uh, made some very good ones and unfortunately kind of kind of got lost too early there in life. Uh, but uh, we would have bought Hold the Line's mom bred uh, to Rusty Cage last fall. Uh, uh, Rep Peterson and I kind of partnered up and, and bought that female and have split gilts and sold the males. So uh, this would have been our keeper gilt last year. Mom would be a litter mate to like our sweetheart's gilt that Riley went campaigns campaign success. Uh, would it be a litter mate to the reserve barrel there at Elkhart, Indiana? Um, uh, the Wheeler family in Ohio had a barrel that was reserved there at Hartford of about 700 heads. So a uh, very, very good litter. No turning back it is uh, a boar at Brockman's we used this fall and had tremendous success with and kind of tied back into him. Uh, he would actually have been the sire of our uh, $20,000 pick of the barn there at Kingpens a few weeks ago. So uh, a boar that's worked very well on our sows. The painted up one that Abby's had is going to be 34-2. And I think that one, uh, honestly, kind kind of looks uh, like you would expect when you look at the pedigree on paper. That one's uh, got a big stout mug as she comes at you and she's burly backed and dense haired and shapely up high and everything's still square and fits and functions. I think a very high quality gilt. Yeah, one that, like you said, she, she is burly, she is dense, she is stout featured and everything about that, it combines to into one stout package. But she's still, from the shoulder blade forward, gives you plenty of look and color pattern, I think kind of a neat, uh, neat kind of a crossbred gilt. So that was the dash two. Abby's now got the dash one. Yep, 34-1 uh, uh, honestly has the same density of foot size and just uh, a bone as her sister does. Comes in a little uh, different type of package. She's a nickel bigger framed uh, gilt at this stage. She's not as much in terms of just bulk and density, uh, but that one pound for pound in terms of forearm and rear leg size. Uh, 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 that one's got one of the bigger rear legs uh, that we've seen in a little while. Uh, pound for pound, age for age, and utilizes it incredibly well. She's one that reads like a big ring gilt, I think. Uh, one that's uh, when she gets the heavier weights and fleshes and bodies mm -hmm. uh, could be very, very good. Uh, you know, again, like we've kind of talked on some of these, I don't think she's ready to rock and roll in April. And if you want to do that, uh, look at her sister, look at some of these other ones. But I think there are some very unique pieces in that guilt that uh, uh, just kind of let her flesh and body and, and have some fun. Yeah, she's definitely built uh, to be a heavyweight and uh, heavyweights are the ones that usually win the big shows. So uh, I don't think uh, you should be scared of this one. She's flexible. She's, she's youthful. She's green, but she's still got some some upper uh, you know top end shape and and just leaves you square and true comes at you square and true still stout mug uh, like this pair of gilts very good so again this was 34-1 and 34-2